Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today marks the seventh day of the 12 Days of Upcycled Christmas Ornaments event, so be sure to swing by my blog and enter the giveaway to win all of the ornaments that I'm making during this event, including this cookie cutter ornament, which I'm going to show you how to make now. So you'll need to start with some supplies. Obviously, you'll need a cookie cutter of some kind. You'll need lots of newspaper, both for working on and decoupaging with. Speaking of decoupaging, you'll need the glue, a paintbrush, and something to string your ornament with. I'm also going to attempt to make a stick figure reindeer for the first time ever, so I've collected some fallen twigs and bamboo pieces from the yard. I don't know how that'll work out, but I guess we'll see. I'm also planning to use some glitter and some batting to uh, make some snow, and a red marker to make sure that this Rudolph looks like a Rudolph. And we can't forget the glue gun and the scissors. So let's get the show on the road and start tearing up some small strips or chunks of newspaper and then start decoupaging them straight onto your cookie cutter. Make sure that you have plenty of glue on the cookie cutter and on top of the newspaper as well. And then once I'm done there, I'm just gonna add some glitter to the edge of my ornament. I'm gonna dip the edges into the decoupage glue a little bit more and then straight into the glitter. I'll set that aside to dry and while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm going to attempt to make this little reindeer. So the idea here is that when I hang my ornament, I'm going to hang it from right about here and I'll have this flat part on the bottom where I can display some kind of a scenery, my reindeer. Um, so the space is small, so I think I'm going to be best off working with the smallest of my twigs and bamboo. So the biggest piece is going to come from this piece of twig. I'm just going to snap off a piece. Looks about good. And then I'm going to add four tiny pieces of bamboo for the legs. And then I'll add a neck and a head that are um, a little bit smaller than the body. And some antlers. And this is what I came up with. Not bad for the first time, eh? So I'm just going to add a little red spot on the nose here so that this reindeer definitely looks like Rudolph. And now I'm just going to take a scrap piece of um, quilt batting and I'm going to make some snow. I'm going to glue it right into the bottom of the cookie cutter and just press it into place. And it gets messy if you get your fingers in the glue, but you can just trim that off. And then I'm just going to toss some glitter into the batting. I'm not going to try to glue it in or anything. I'm going to try to just get it caught in the, in between the weave just to give it a little sparkly, snowy look. So now for the hanger, you'll have to forgive me. I'm not at home. Um, I did have a hole pre-drilled here where you could put a piece of string through it, but the string that I took with me is too big. So um, I'm just going to glue this into place. So I'm just going to take uh, some hot glue and add it to the top of that knot and press it into place. And this should hold just fine. It's a very lightweight ornament. So if you do want to add a hole, you can just do it with a drill or you can take a nail and hammer and pound it through there and string through. But this is going to work for me for today. Now we just have to glue Rudolph in couple of spots to the bottom of the feet and drop them into place. And we're good to go. Yo, thanks for watching. I hope you'll make a couple of these. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe.